Mickey Meehan for UCCS Athletics. I'm here with head women's basketball coach Lynn Plett. Now, coach, you were on the road this weekend. It was your South Dakota trip. With that, you opened up against South Dakota School of Mines. You walked away with a loss, 66 to 59. Really, they came at you in the second quarter. Comments on that game? Um, they played really well. The, their uh, uh, probably played one of their better ball games of the season, as from, from even from what their coach was saying. So, and then they played well the next night too. So they've been uh, playing. They played really well last weekend. We uh, didn't shoot the ball very well again, uh, but it was a pretty close game back and forth. We got down, then we came back and got down and came back and did a good job of being able to fight back into it. We just couldn't get over the hump uh, in the fourth quarter and get enough stops and then be able to score on the other side to counter uh, their uh, offensive efficiency on in that particular ball game. So uh, it was just a, a tough game for us to lose, but um, it's one of those things when you walk away that, you know, it's not – I don't think we necessarily beat ourselves, but we we just we we got beat by a better team on that particular night. With that, Jay Farron contributed 15 points. 14 of the 19 fouls were called against you guys, so a little bit of a rough night, aggressive night for you guys. Looking ahead, you played Black Hill State. You walked away with a 72-57 loss. Comments on that game? Yeah, we uh, ran into a buzzsaw at the beginning of the, in the first half, especially in the second quarter. They they hit 12 three-pointers against us in the first half and really uh, built up a considerable lead from that standpoint, and we didn't counter on the offensive end or be able to stop on the defensive end. The difference was it wasn't just one or two players making those three-point shots. It was eight different players making 12 three-pointers in the first half, and it was just one of those games where <laughs> everything was false, kind of like our game against uh, New Mexico Highlands in the first half where we hit 10 three-pointers and, and just looked like, you know, a team that just was on a roll. Um, the second half, then uh, we had, we we really had to play a little tougher because it was a pretty physical game, uh, and and uh, and so I, I felt like our players kind of really got uh, a little bit tougher, got a little bit more aggressive on the defensive end, and we did a much better job in the second half. Unfortunately, we are uh, we were too far behind to make up the difference, but we ended up winning the. Uh, or outscoring them in the third and fourth quarter and doing a good job. It's just that fact that we had dug our hole too deep in the first half in order to crawl out of it. With that junior, Maddie Gabler had a double-double. She had 16 points, 11 rebounds. Comments on her performance? Um, Maddie, did. A, uh, she's been playing more consistently uh, overall. Um, I'm sure she would admit that she would have liked to shoot a little bit of a better percentage than what she did in that game, but she was really one of our most aggressive players that really went to the basket and really um, really tried to counter uh, what they were doing offensively. And, and uh, defensively, she's always been one that plays with an awful lot of energy and rebounds and does all those kind of things well. So uh, it's really good to have that type of energy on the court. Looking ahead, it's the regular season finale. You travel to Colorado School of Mines. You're currently the eighth seed with a three-way tie for sixth place. What's the message you're sending to your team at practice this week? Well, it's, it's that time of year where everybody's fighting for continuing to play. And so it's, it's just a matter of us, uh, uh, you know, putting together the best game that we can. We're still, uh, you know, we're, we've been fighting with injuries for the last, since Christmas almost, too. So and we're still missing Anna. Abby, uh, Ellie's still not a hundred percent, and uh, um, even, and then uh, you've got uh, Emily, who's kind of working with a knee issue the whole time. Tatum, same thing, has had a knee issue too, so it's kind of banged up a little bit. But the the best thing we can do is just put the best foot forward and play as tough as we can with the players that we do have on the floor, and and that's really what it comes down to. I think I don't think our players are going to. Uh, put anything less than their best effort into the game on on uh, Friday, but it is one of those situations where everything could change. You know, depending on that, if we win, we're definitely going to be in a tournament. If we lose, it ha it depends on what everybody else does, uh, to whether we're even be able to play another game on Tuesday or not. So it's uh, it's it's a fun time of year, but it's also a little bit of a stressful time of the year. But we need to look at it from the standpoint of uh, we've been nothing to lose, everything to gain. We're the underdogs, so let's uh, let's just play as hard as we possibly can. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck this weekend as you round out the season. Hoping for a win. We want to see some more playoff basketball here. Best of luck. Fans, as always, thanks for tuning in, and go Mountain Lions.